Hey, what is up guys? I'm gonna show you guys a quick video on how to get this disaster loan assistance from the SBA. Um, this is mainly gonna be for DoorDash, but if you guys do Grubhub and stuff like that, um, it's probably p pretty uh, similar. But I'm just gonna show you guys how I did it, and how I got my money, and they didn't ask for any like extra um, info or anything. They didn't wanna see any files or anything. But if they do, just make sure you just estimate everything to like the correct amount, just so it'll look right. And so for the very beginning, right when you guys start and you guys go to this website right here, um, you guys are gonna uh, pick the third option. And so for this, you guys are gonna have to check all of the following. If you guys, I'm just gonna do a quick little run by so you guys can read all that for you. But um, review and check all the following. So just make sure you know it's not illegal activity all of that because if you guys can't check these then it's not gonna um let you continue so just make sure that you know everything's right so i'm just gonna just do like a example so continue so for, this is what i did for doordash and hopefully it's the same for uber eats or anything so for a uh, legal name you guys want to put doordash and actually i'll be right back so i can turn off my um automatic so it's okay guys i'm back on and here. so i just have to turn it off real quick so so this is why i put for the uh, business legal name this is what i put so if none of this is right maybe they could just understand it but i'm not the best at this kind of stuff i'm just telling you guys what i put and how i got my money how i got my grant so for the business legal name you put this probably uber eats if it's the other one or you know uber driver uh, trade name you just put your name so we could just say like Andrew for your name and this is your social security number so it's gonna be that long digit um, organization I put independent contractor yeah I put independent contractor no no cuz you know DoorDash isn't a franchise it's just like a app and then so for your revenue you guys are just gonna want to uh, for in the past 12 months for this date you can go on your i-99 check out how much you got so let's just say it's like fifty thousand dollars that you've made and for the yeah, cost for this of this one this is where i put like how much it cost for me for gas so just try to estimate how much you spent on gas let's just say you spent about like after you made fifty thousand you spent fifteen thousand on gas um and then for this one just put like it was uh gas money just make it look better i'm just giving you guys a brief you know run by and a business address, so you're just gonna put your address on here. So, zip code. all right, and then for this business, you're gonna put your own phone number. You can add another one if you want. This one, put your own email. Um, so this is like, uh, this one was hard for me, but just try to estimate like when you started doing Uber, DoorDash, Uber Eats, anything. So let's just say like, the same for both of those. And business activity for this one, I went down to transportation. And then it's not really like transportation, so I don't know if this one was right, but they understood what I was doing. I'm pretty sure because I put for the name. But I went through all of these and I couldn't really find anything that was like good like business services. Yeah, like I don't see anything. So I just went to transportation and I put none of the below. And then I just put one because it's just me as the employee for the DoorDash. And so for your owner, you're going to want to put your, you know, for your name. So for owner, you're going to want to put your name. Title, owner, 100%. There you go. Okay. So additional information now. Um, in the past year, it's been a felony, so just put all these for no. And then if anyone helped you, um, you don't gotta worry about that. And then just put your bank name and put your account number, your writing number, like for your bank. And then just click certify. Make sure you put your correct email in here because that's where they're gonna email you for like your status. You're gonna click next and it'll tell you your order number and then later you'll get a email and then just make sure you click i would like to be considered for an advance up to ten thousand. and that's about it thank you guys for watching hope this guys helped you out this got me money and i hope it gets you guys money have a good one